when the Senate mourned Salalo Falls. On March 12, 2007, 50 years after its deliberate destruction, the Oregon Senate officially mourned the loss of Salalo Falls on the Columbia River. Today, in 2017, Salilo Falls is absent from most maps and few people knew it ever existed or why it matters at all. The Senate took action on two bills, jointly sponsored by Senator Avel Louise Gordley and Speaker of the House Jeff Merkley. Senate Concurrent Resolution 10 officially mourned the loss of Salilo Falls and the destruction of a way of life that had thrived for thousands of years. Senate Joint Memorial 7 urged Congress to take action regarding the tribal housing that had been destroyed at Salalo Village but not replaced 50 years after the fact. Salilo Village is the oldest continuously inhabited settlement in North America. Salilo Village has been continuously occupied for some 12,000 years to the present day. Salilo Falls was the largest waterfall by width and volume in North America and the 10th largest in the world. The fishing economy at Salalo Falls was the center of a vast trade network that spanned thousands of miles. The invocation today, Warm Springs Chief Delvis Heath, and I now present uh, Chief Heath, please. In the Swanisha Wetusa, was in Miki Sunwitki Kwatanawata. And this morning, my people always gave thanks for waking up gave thanks for the season, gave thanks for the, when the snow came, when the spring rains came, when the sunshine came in the summer and the fall. We gave thanks for all the seasons. We gave thanks for everything that was arriving. When they came in tune, we knew when they were coming. So we gave thanks for all the resources that keep us, keep us going in this wonderful world. And I want to give thanks to the <clears throat> to everybody for you have to work sometimes thankless of the work you have to do for the state. You can't satisfy everybody, but I hope that uh, you take care of many people in the state. I'm going to sing a song and then I'm going to say the prayer the way I was uh, interpreting it to you in my language. <clears throat> I I I Ay, 
अनखो मैन गो सल लख नामे प्याप को नामे है आया तुम स्वच्छ थी छम मीन नखनो लाख नथुन थी छम तनम छूस थी छम नखनो छम नी छम लाख नथुन थपस खुश की लाख नथुन थैंक यू I'd like to thank very much the Warm Springs Chief Delvis Heath for today's invocation and I'd like to extend the courtesy of the Oregon State Senate to the Chief Heath. Courtesies, I recognize Senator Ted Ferrioli, please. Thank you, Mr. President. I wanted particularly to thank Chief Delvis Heath who um along with other tribal members and dignitaries uh were at the solemn remembrances of this of the uh burial of Salilo this weekend and I have with me at my desk a resident of Wyam Lila Jack who joins me and we would like to request courtesies uh for Miss Jack. Thank you. Miss Jack, I'd like to extend the courtesies of the Oregon State Senate officially to you. It is an honor and a privilege to have you on the floor with us today. and i hope you have a good day in the oregon state capital thank you very much for being here recognize senator aval gordley please thank you and good morning mr president it is an honor a deep honor that i ask that courtesies be extended this morning to linda george mianas seated at my desk she is the great granddaughter of chief tommy thompson and participated this past weekend in the commemoration um at Salilo also uh there are two other uh guests here who will be uh introduced by the appropriate um senators i want to also acknowledge that Linda George Mianas is the great granddaughter of Chief Tommy Thompson and Colleagues please stop by my desk this morning and take the opportunity to look at some photos that are just so powerful. These are photos from over 50 years ago taken at Salilo and one of the photos Mr. President um includes a young Linda George Mianas with her great grandfather Chief Tommy Thompson. Thank you Mr. President. Thank you. I'd like to extend the personal courtesies of the Senate to you. It's an honor and privilege to have you here today and I hope you will stay with us for the remainder of this session. Thank you very much. I recognize Senator Ben Westland. Thank you Mr. President. Colleagues seated with me today, I am honored to have Ed Edmo. He is Shoshone, Bannock, Nez Perce and Yakima. please stand he's already got this down the uh he was raised at Salilo Falls and by tradition he continues uh the great legacy uh of being a storyteller and a keeper of our native american brethren's history we are so pleased to have you today please extend courtesies of the senate to ed edmo thank you mr Good. president Thank you. We're very pleased to have you here. Appreciate your presence. It's an honor and privilege. We'd like to extend the first official courtesies of the Oregon State Senate to you. Thank you. Courtesies I do want to recognize the event on Saturday, Silo Silo Falls. Uh, Senator uh, uh Ted Ferrioli was there on behalf of the State Senate bringing their best wishes in a momentous event. 
So the Senate was there in the presence of Senator uh, Ted Ferraioli, and we're pleased very much that our Indian people, Native Americans, are here with us today so that we can recognize you in that remarkable time, remarkable uh, moment. It's an honor and privilege to have you here. Uh, we're in our propositions and motions. Senator Kate Brown, please. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the rules be suspended in order that the Senate may take action on third reading of SCR 10 and SJM 7 and be made a special order of business at the head of today's third reading calendar. Senator Brown has moved that the rules be suspended that the Senate may take action on the third reading of SCR 10 and SJM 7 and be made a special order of business at the head of today's third reading calendar. To your motion, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, given our, that our guests are present today and uh, the timing, it's appropriate that we hear these matters today. Thank you. If there's no objection, the motion will carry and we will make these matters SCR 10 and SJM 7 a special order of business. The motion has carried. Third reading of Senate measures. We will now proceed to the special order of business. And the clerk will please read the first measure. Senate concurrent, Senate concurrent Resolution 10, mourning the flooding of Sasilo Falls in 1957 and its loss to the tribal people of Oregon. And now I recognize Senator Avell Gordley. Thank you, Mr. President, colleagues. Senate Concurrent Resolution 10 mourns the flooding of Sasilo Falls in 1957. Thank you, Mr. President. Senate Concurrent Resolution 10 mourns the flooding of Celilo Falls in 1957 and its loss to the tribal people of Oregon. The destruction of Celilo Falls, one of the great natural, cultural, and religious wonders of the world, ended a way of life that had endured and prospered for thousands of years. The resolution reads, whereas Wyam, the Great Falls of Nichiwana, known to us as Celilo Falls of the Columbia River, thundered for millennia in the spiritual heart of the Northwest and was a natural wonder of the world. And whereas throughout the millennia, Celilo Falls was the primary place where native people caught the giant Chinook, blueback, and coho salmon that struggled upstream through the rocky barrier of tumbling waters and swift, narrow channels. The Native people's record of habitation proves Wyam to be one of the longest continuously inhabited communities on this continent. And whereas for its thousands of years of human civilization, Wyam was one of the world's great marketplaces, and a half dozen tribes had permanent villages near the falls where some 5,000 people would gather to trade, feast, and participate in games and religious ceremonies. And whereas the multitudes of salmon caught at Celilo Falls helped make the lower Columbia River among the wealthiest places in what is now the United States, and fostered a blossoming of rock art culminating in the petroglyph, in the petroglyph Sagalalal, or She Who Watches, and other great works. And whereas the images of the dip netters reaching from their vibrating scaffolds into the roiling river are an icon of the native Northwest. And whereas on March 10th, 1957, the waters held back by the Dalles Dam flooded and silenced the awesome and sacred roar of Celilo Falls, severing a great spiritual connection between the Creator, Mother Earth, and the native peoples of Oregon. And whereas the silence of the dead falls is rivaled only by the silence in the hearts of the elders, who remember the thunder of the falls and the vibrant community struck down by the dam. And whereas the tribes of the Columbia River and the people of Celilo Village will hold a memorial for Celilo Falls on March 10th, 2007, now therefore be it resolved by the Legislative Assembly of the State of Oregon that we, 
the members of the 74th Legislative Assembly mourn the flooding of Celilo Falls and recognize the falls' great importance to the native peoples of Oregon in providing sustenance from the salmon and a gathering place for all tribes and agree to observe a moment of silence on March 10, 2007. And be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution shall be presented to the Tribal Council of the Confederated Tribes of the Umatilla Indian Reservation, the Tribal Council of the Confederated Tribes of the Warm Springs Reservation of Oregon, and the Tribal Council of the Nez Perce Tribe to the Wyom Board and to the Tribal Council of the Confederated Tribes and Bands of the Yakima Nation. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Gorley. And now recognize Senator Ted Ferrioli, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, uh, I had the honor of representing the Senate at the Ceremony of Remembrance on Saturday. And I will tell you that I was very moved at listening to the remembrances of the YM people and those of the tribes who traded and lived there and fished there for so many generations. And today I think it's appropriate that we take up under a special order of business this memorial mourning the loss of the falls. All of us in our personal lives at some time or other suffer loss. The loss of a loved one, the loss of some connection to the land, the loss of a cherished tradition. But I can think of no loss that approaches or compares with the loss of the homeland of the YM and the falls at Celilo. And even the concept of Celilo and the memory of the place is hard to convey to our people today because the name comes literally from the place. And I believe Celilo cannot easily be translated into English. The word means the thunder of the waters and the rocks, the sound of the cobbles churning in the chute, in the chutes, the hiss of the waters, the rising of the mist, and the smell and the fragrance of the waters, and the shaking of the earth in rhythm to the passing of those thundering waters. Those are the, the, the meanings that are embedded in the word that we use to describe what it is that is indescribably important to the people of Wyam. Celilo is not a word, it's a song. It's the song of the river that is stilled today. Today it's appropriate that we undertake this issue, that we have our moment of silence in remembrance The celebration of a people is an important thing, and the mourning of their loss is the way that we can share with them the moving forward together. The people of Celilo, the people of Wyam, the people of the river, and the people of Oregon are working together today, and we have come far along that trail. We've come far in our understanding of how a place can give rise to a people and how a people can teach us about the sacred nature of places. In my heart, I do not believe that if we had to make this decision today that was made 50 years ago, that we would make it. That, that, I believe, is how far we've come along this trail 
together. Together, we have seen the restoration of some of the sacred, sacred places, and through much effort and much good work, and much is yet to be done, the good work of restoration of the salmon and the eagle and the wolf and the river, and more will be done. And we in the legislature are listening to Oregon's first people, and in our hearts, there is the will to continue our good work together. The lesson of Wyam, the lesson of Celilo, is that the people still live, that the spirit of Wyam is strong and growing stronger. Let the spirit of Celilo guide all our deliberations and all our actions. Thank you, Senator Ted Ferriero. Recognize Senator Lori Monis Anderson, please. Thank you, Mr. President. I was 12 years old when the waters, the flooding of the Celilo Falls happened. And I remember up to that time, that was one of the fun things that my family did. We'd go for our drive along the Columbia River, and we were always hoping that the dip netters were going to be at Celilo Falls so that we could watch them. It was awesome watching them fish, dip those nets down and bring up fish. I had asked my parents, well, what's going to happen now, now that the floods came? They said, oh, the fish will still be there. But right now I realize, no, yes, maybe the fish would, was there, but it's a true loss, and I mourn also. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Monis Anderson. Senator Gorley, do you wish to close? The question now arises upon the third reading and the final passage of SCR 10. Those of the opinion the bill shall pass will answer aye as names called. Those opposed, no. Clerk, please call the roll. Przanski. Aye. Schrader. Starr. Aye. Berger. Aye. Walker. Aye. Wesson. Aye. Witsit. Aye. Winters. Winters. Atkinson. Yes. Bakken. Bates. Aye. Beyer. Aye. Brown. Aye. Burdick. Burdick. Aye. Carter. Deckert. Aye. Devlin. Aye. Ferrioli. Aye. Gary George. Larry George. Aye. Gordley. Aye. Johnson. Cruz, Aye. Metzger, Wanna Sanderson, Aye. Monroe, Aye. Morissette, Aye. Morse, Aye. Nelson, Aye. President Courtney. Yes. Excused. Gary George Schrader, 28 ayes. SCR 10, having received a constitutional majority, is declared passed. Clerk will please read the next bill. Senate Joint Memorial 7, urging Congress to continue to fund housing restoration at Celilo Village until completion. Recognize Senator Gordley, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, the destruction of Celilo Falls also destroyed the homes of the YM people who had inhabited the site for thousands of years, creating great hardship and great injustice through this destruction. At the time of the destruction of the falls, promises were made to the YM people by the federal government to replace the housing that was lost, and those promises were not kept. And now, 50 years later, Senate Joint Memorial 7 urges Congress to continue to fund housing restoration to benefit the YM people at Celilo Village until completion. Mr. President, if I may have uh, permission to use a uh, photograph. Yes, please. Go ahead, please, yes, please. Thank you. Colleagues, I hold a picture taken at Celilo Falls 50 years ago. And in this picture, 
you see a child. And that child is now the woman seated at my desk, and I introduce her again, Linda George Mianis. She is representing today the Celilo, the YM people, the Warm Springs, and the Yakima. And her tears are flowing, as are many tears on this floor today. I ask that you come by and take a look at the photographs and be drawn into the history and into the, the memories that we all now have an opportunity to embrace. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Gordley. Further discussion on the memorial? Senator Gordley, do you wish to close? Question now arises upon the third reading in the final passage of SJM 7. Those of the opinion, the measure shall pass. I'll answer aye. Those opposed, no. Clerk, please call the roll. Schrader. Starr. Verger. Walker. Wesson. Whitsitt. Winters. Atkinson. Atkinson. Vakin, Bates, Aye. Byer, Aye. Brown, Aye. Burdick, Aye. Carter, Aye. Deckert, Aye. Devlin, Aye. Ferioli, Aye. Gary George, Larry George, Aye. Gordley, Aye. Johnson, Aye. Cruz, Aye. Metzger, Monis Anderson, Aye. Monroe, Morissette, Aye. Morse, Aye. Nelson, Aye. Przansky, Aye. President Courtney. Yes. Excuse Gary George Schrader, 28 eyes. SJM 7, having received a constitutional majority, is declared passed. The clerk will read the next bill, please. Senate Joint. At the time that the Oregon Senate acted, it was widely believed that Salado Falls had been sacrificed for power generation at the Dalles Dam. However, new information tells a different story. Salado Falls is located beyond the pool necessary for hydropower generation at the Dalles Dam. Salilo Falls, its great salmon fishery, economy, and way of life that had thrived for thousands of years, came to an end in a matter of hours. In the 1950s, U.S. national policy was to force Native American populations off their traditional or reservation lands and into distant cities, yet there was little public outcry. It was in this climate that the homes of many Native people at Celilo and throughout the Columbia Gorge were destroyed with little public opposition. Celilo Falls was sacrificed in order to move barges between the Dalles Dam and the John Day Dam, some 30 miles upriver with little public opposition. Negotiations are underway on the Columbia River Treaty Review in 2017 to determine the future management of the river. Barging upriver of the Dalles Dam requires massive public subsidies, but returns little, if any, public benefit. The flow of water through the Columbia River is managed for the convenience of barging interests and to the detriment of fish runs. Both require massive ongoing public subsidies. No selfish interest should be permitted through politics or otherwise to destroy or impair this great birthright of our people. Governor Tom McCall on Oregon's Beach Bill. Where do you stand on the future of the Columbia River?